Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got my second part of my craft buddy delivery. Uh, not quite sure why they sent it in two parts. Maybe the bags weren't big enough. I don't know. It looks as though it has possibly come direct from craft buddy because it has got the craft buddy sticker on it. But uh, I did order it from through Creating Craft TV, which is our shopping channel. Um, I did get a little free gift for ordering. I have done this one before. Um, I do think sometimes it's just things that they've got a lot of that maybe haven't sold as well as they should have. Uh, this is the little Pumba and Timon and uh, little Simba card. Now, it's wild for holiday. Um, I suppose really it's not all that Christmassy, is it? Um, we've got a couple of little snowflakey type things on it. I suppose you could make it as a birthday card. Personally, I'm going to try and cover that over because uh, we don't sort of say holiday in um, the UK because we don't have Thanksgiving or anything. We are definitely happy Christmas or season's greetings. Um, we don't say happy holidays and things. So, yeah, it's a little bit uh, not really for the UK market, I would have said, but it's still a very, very cute card. It's very fiddly to cut out. I don't think I would attempt to cut that out. A few, quite a few years back, I would have done um, purely because my eyesight was a lot better. But with the way my eyesight is now, I wouldn't be able to cut around all these little bits with my craft knife and everything. So, yeah, I'll try and do something with it. I have actually got another one of these anyway. <laughs> But yeah, it's nice to get a free gift. Um, it says they're four ninety nine on the website or four forty nine on the website, so they're giving you a sort of four pound ish um, gift. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't pay that for that. I'm sure I got the set because there was the box set of six, and I think I maybe only paid about ten pound for the set of six. Um, so yeah, I have done the others. I'm sure I've done the. Uh, other cards. Did I do them when I was doing my 30 cards in 30 days this year? I can't remember. I know I have done them though and they are all ready for Christmas. So, I mean, they are very cute, you know, and they are Disney licensed. Unfortunately, you can't sell them because they are Disney licensed. Um, but they're great for personal use. And if you've got a Disney lover, that's wonderful. You've got all your DMC codes on the back as well and tells you how many drills you've got. I always used to think, oh, I'm not really interested in how many drills I've got. Uh, but since I've been swapping out drills for like crystals and uh, ABs and twinklers and things like that, then it's quite handy to know how many you need because there's no point in starting thinking, right, I'm going to change all that colour out and then finding you haven't got enough drills. So, yeah, and one lady did send me um, a conversion chart for weight of them. So if you've got some little mini scales, then you can actually weigh your drills and know how many roughly drills you've got rather than sitting and counting them. Yeah, something I've not done, uh, but I know another lady has. So, yeah, thank you for <laughs> sitting and counting them. Um, I've got quite a bit of patience, but I don't think I've got the patience to sit and count a bag of drills. But anyway... So, yeah, that's our little greetings card. Um, I won't take it out of the packet. I may use this in a, a giveaway or something like that in the future. So, yeah, keep watching. OK, but this is the reason that I put the order in in the first place. And uh, the little set of four frameables that I got at a bargain price um, were sort of like just add-ons that I thought, oh, well, because Creating Craft TV, um, unlike Craft Buddy, charge £3.95 postage and it's capped at £3.95 I believe which is quite a chunk really when you think um you know you can get things from Amazon with free postage and uh, Timo's free postage and all those sort of things and Craft Buddy if you spend over £35 is free postage for the UK so I was yeah I'm always a bit I don't know, I am an R um, when I'm ordering things from Creating Craft now. It used to be 2 99 and I was thinking, oh, well, 2 99 yeah, that's like your parking and, you know, nearly, well, more than your petrol uh, and like your petrol for going into uh, the shops or whatever if you were going into the city to buy stuff. So, yeah, but I don't know, £4 just seems that little bit stretched to me. Maybe I'm just really tight with my money, I don't know. Uh, so what I did, I thought, right, well, if I order four items... Oh, four packs so the set of four frameables was one this is actually two items in here which is two and then i've got another two items which i'll show in another video 
I thought, well, that only makes it a pound each for the postage. So I thought, oh, well, yeah, a pound each for the postage. That's not bad. If you see what I mean. <laughs> I have to talk myself into these things and justify it. Uh, I know some people just buy them um, and don't think like that. But I like to work things out and uh, feel as though I've got good value for money. Okay, right, let's get into this little box because you're thinking, Liz, you're five minutes into this video nearly and you're just waffling on about nothing. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> let's see what I got this time. Right, so these are a brand new item. Uh, I believe they may be on the Craft Buddy website now, but I don't think they were at the time. I don't know whether I'm doing this in the right place or not. Oh, yes, I am. All right. <laughs> I just think I'm sat scoring along on this and I might not even be doing the right bit. <laughs> Which would just be typical me. Oh, look. Why do I always make everything look so awkward? <laughs> I'll never be elegant. Oh dear. Right, so they come in their own little boxes, which is... Oh, nice. Let's put them... Oh, look, hang on. Sneak peek, sneak peek, which is uh, lovely. I didn't really want the two, to be fair. Um, even on the Craft Buddy website, they do come in the set of two. And I did really only want the one set. But anyway, I thought, well... I don't, I don't mind the other set, I, uh, well, the other one, shall we say, um, but I really only wanted this one, so I will show you this one first. If they'd have sold them singly, I would have just got the one. There is actually four altogether, there's another set of two of these. Now, I have had these items before, and I will show you that in a second, but I just want to have a look at this because it's so cute. Look at that. It's a little round snow globe with total little gonks in them or gnomes or goblins or whatever you call them. But they are just very, very cute. And there's lovely dark wood surrounds as well on them. So let me get into this and have a look in this one. Let's open it this way up. Uh, again, Craft Buddy Crystal Art, the packaging is just superb. You know, if you give that to somebody as a present, I mean, look, even the detail of the Christmas tree on the side there, it's just that extra little thought, rather than just using the generic boxes and just changing the picture out, they've actually gone that little bit extra and put a Christmassy theme on it because it's a Christmas gonks. And even like the Craft Buddy logo that's embossed here um, in like your foil, and they've just put the little scatter of gems around it. I always feel as I've got a really nice product, a really, well, like a present for myself when I get these boxes. The branding's superb. I, I do love Craft Buddy, as you can probably tell. But as I, I've always said, they are the way I got into diamond painting because I used to do their cards when they first came out. And I think I found an invoice from either 2017 or 2018. I think it was maybe 2018, the cards. I'm not sure. Can't remember now. I've got a memory like a sieve. Um, when they first brought out their crystal art cards and they were just literally little pictures and you just put the uh, crystals on them and I really enjoyed doing it and then the rest is history. Now I have a whole room full of things that I have to put little gems on. <laughs> right, so let's have a look in this package and they're a good size as well. Look at that. You know, you get a box and you think, oh yeah, it'll be about half that size. But no, look, this is a real sort of what you would call a statement piece. <laughs> right. So let us have a look in this packet. Again, nice bag. These are great if you keep them as card bags as well. They do fit the eight by eight cards. So just a little tip there. Sorry, the six they're seven by seven inch cards, are they? Yes, yeah, seven by seven inch cards that they do. <gasps> We've got a mix of resin and special drills there. Look, ooh, sparkly. We have one of their lovely toolkits, which are a step up from a basic. Um, you get the Craft Buddy branded white pen, which I always say, I, I just love it. I just think that sort of purple on the white, ooh, although that one's a little bit not quite printed in properly, oh, just to make me out as a, a fibber. <laughs> so, yeah, but, you know, that a printed in foil of crystal art on that white it just always looks really classy to me 
I feel like I've got a classy thing. Uh, we've got a little three placer, which is the old style, thicker style, but great for picking up special drills. And your single placer on that end. Then give you a little white boat. So rather than your green one, you've got a little white one, which can be handy, but if you put white drills in them, I can't see them. So I, I tend to swap around with uh, the boats that I use now, the diamond painting trays, because if the colour on the tray matches the drill, because I've got quite a few colours, I can't see them anymore. So I have to get a tray that is a really good contrast for me. I've got a little square of wax and then you get about 20 grip seal bags i'm not going to count them but there usually is about 20 ish so we, we did go through a phase where there was a couple of kits that didn't have the 20 in and that was a bit disappointing um but they're not like little bags and uh, i don't use them so that's that little tool kit but let's have a look at the main event and there's a little bit of building involved in these as well they're not just a straightforward um paint it stick it on a stand and it's done so and it did take a bit of figuring out i have got a video of when i did my first style of these um items of how i actually did it and i actually put it all together on camera um the, it's easy once you know how but uh, if you don't know then it, it can take a little bit of figuring out and i don't believe no, there's diamond painting instructions. Um, and this is just one of the generic leaflets showing you the products, showing you what you get in your kit, uh, and then showing you how to diamond paint in several different languages, which always go in the recycling bin, I'm afraid. So there is no instructions, albeit this one has come um, more or less how it needs to be. So so we have uh, the little picture of the gonks there showing you the gonks. Doesn't show you the background, uh, but I suppose you can tell that the background doesn't have any gems on it. Uh, and then it shows you the bits that are actually diamond painted. We have 20 different colours and we have a crystal and then two large round crystals anything that starts with a zero with that craft buddy coding is your standard crystals anything that starts with a y is the larger round crystals anything that starts with an m oh my goodness would you believe it there is now a wasp has just come through the window how have i got a wasp in my craft room the window is open about an inch Oh my goodness, I haven't had a wasp in the house all summer and we get to nearly the end of October and I've got a wasp. I will be back in a second. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> I have no idea where the wasp has gone now because just as I went to get a tea towel to go and escort it out the window, um, a hubby shouts, I've spilt some Pepsi Max. Oh, so I've had about three quarters of a can of Pepsi Max is knocked over in the fridge. And uh, yes, I've just cleaned my fridge out. <laughs> which needed doing but maybe not right this minute and now i've come back into my craft room and i've no idea where the wasp went um they don't frighten me but i just can't do with anything buzzing around my head while i'm busy um and it doesn't want to be in here anyway because it's not going to last very long i suppose it saw through the window because i've got some like fake flowers and they are quite realistic they're like well they're not they're not silk, but they're like a materially and plastic flower. Um, yeah, and I think it may be thought that that was a real one because it's sort of headed there. But where it's gone now, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it wants to do a bit of diamond painting. I don't know. I've got a new viewer anyway. It's a little uh, amber and black stripey thing that buzzes a lot. <laughs> oh, you just never know what's going to happen when I'm videoing, honestly. The ice cream man came earlier and I thought, oh, well, at least the ice cream van's not going to be on this video. OK, right back to these. I can't even remember what I was saying now. So, yeah, we've got the 20 colours and uh, yeah, I think it was maybe about building it, was it, together? So the only bit of the drill area that you do, the only bit that has the gems on is the tall little gunks. And there's quite a few on there. It's a little bit of a different colour palette, shall we say. I'm not sure I would have included the fawn and like the orangey colour, maybe. Um, let me just have a look at this. Yeah, it's like an orangey colour. I know it's sort of like to make her a little bit more distinct 
from the red but I'm not really keen on orange and red together I will have to see what it looks like uh, once I've done it it has only got plain white drills looking at this little key code it's just got the B5200s uh, or the 5200s as it says on here um, which are just your standard flat white gems and I prefer at Christmas to have as much AB bling as possible. So I will be substituting most of those out for ABs. Possibly not the beards. Uh, well, his beard. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a hair as well. But I, I tend not to really do the beards. But certainly the cuffs and the pom-poms and the bits on the hats and everything. I will be doing as uh, white ABs. Not sure about her hair. I might do that as well. We'll have to see. But yeah, I don't like more sparkle. More is more. Um, I'm doing some uh, of the Hallow... Well, I've been doing the Halloween stickers. Um, and they are all just plain gems. And, uh, I, you know, much as I love diamond painting, I'm missing my sparkle. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have to swap. Well, I'm putting some glow-in-the-darks in those anyway, so... Yeah, so they're a nice wooden frame, um, and that's loose. I mean, that can just be cut off. It's just as they've sort of die-cut it to put it on. Don't take the back off the backing uh, until you're ready to put it all together. So it is double-sided. So we have a mirror image on each side. And what you have to do with these is it's like a half moon shape. This is clear. You take, oh, well, that was a fat lot of good <laughs> lifting that off. It's going to be one of those days. I think I ought to just stop filming now and give it up as a bad job. That is supposed to lift up the top cover. So there's like a dust and scratch cover on this side and a dust and scratch cover on this side. So this will be a completely clear piece of Perspex or acrylic once you've taken the covers off. You would then take this cover off this side. One, I would suggest diamond painting it all first. And then that sticks onto there. And the whole of this background is sticky. You then have your little base part as well, which makes up your circle for your snow globe. And then you would stick that part on there. Okay. And then take the back of this and then that sticks onto there so you end up with like a sandwich of the acrylic and as I say it is clear in the background and then you've got a two-part stand all right okay I don't think my stand came in two parts last time can't remember I'll have to have a look at the other one I've got uh, so you would take that off that goes either on the top or on the bottom it's entirely up to you I think I I think I put it on the bottom so it's lifted up so it's like a little step. I mean, you could do it that way and put your little snow globe in there because that is just going to slot into there. I suppose, yeah, that makes it a bit more of a step. But I'm sure last year when I put this out, I did it that way. So I had it lifted up off the uh, mantelpiece a little bit more. But yeah, absolutely loving these. What is that that's there? That's not a bug, is it? I've got bugs on my mind now. I think it's just a bit of fluff. Yeah, it's just a bit of fluff. That's okay. Just a bit of packaging, I think. That's all right. Oof. Don't want any more bugs in here. Goodness me. Right, so let's give our little snuggle a quick measure and see where we are. I mean, it... Ooh, no, you won't be able to, would you? I was just thinking you could make it into a shaker, but you couldn't because you'd need to have something over the top to stop it falling out. Anyway, so let's give it a quick measure. Where have I put my dirt measure? Come here, Scotty dog. Right, so we are at 20 centimetres across, which is eight inches. But I am guessing it's going to be about the same. Yeah, once you've got your base on, once it's stood on the base, it's going to be 20 centimetres, 8 inches. So, yeah, it is a really, really a good size. So, that is the first one I got. Let's have a look at these gems. All right, okay. So, 20 different colours. So, it's a very... 
don't know it's it's a different color palette it's not really what i would class as traditional christmas but we'll go with it and see where we end up so we've got a gray and a raspberry color and a fawn and a little bit lighter beige color um more of a bubblegum pink not a hot pink and a red and green that's a very cherry red and a very bright green and a bright orange this is what i'm not overling on um, a peach colour, a very pale grey, a very pale blue, another orange, might substitute those out, have to say, nice jade green, a baby pink, and then that one's like a peachy brown colour, a bit darker green, that's all the just standard whites, oh look the greens have uh, tried to get in on the white party there, they've uh, made a bit of escape there. The uh, standard crystal is the a gold colour, the lemony gold colour. And then our two larger crystals are the red and the lemony gold. So they, they match those. Yeah, they're the same colour as those. And then we've just got the red, which I'm guessing are going to be the holly berries. Okay, and that's unusual because they've got facets on. Quite often we get these without the facets on for craft buddy ones so but yeah it's uh, a lovely set and i'm looking forward to doing this i'm trying to think what i paid for them were they about i don't know whether they were about 24 pound for the two and i, I was a bit um, shall i get them shan't i but i just loved this one so much i thought yeah i'm going to get it and i have got my big uh, christmas gunk as well the big the big buddy that uh, they call them so right let's pop these away one little thing that i do just do when i'm doing um well when i'm looking and when i'm doing my uh, unboxings is i always just put my little key code in with my drills so it doesn't get lost and it doesn't get crumpled as such and it's with the correct drills as well so if i'm ever a bit is this the right drills or not i can put them in there the uh, code number is oh no it's not oh oh yes it is it's there it's gonna say mdf yeah so i think this must be uh, brown mdf or brown coated mdf and 05c so yeah we've got there look that code there matches the uh, code number on all the bags of drills so yay uh, it does say 20 by 20 but i do like to check so let's just slot that in there. I do like to keep the key codes. Uh, they go in my little logbook when I've got it done. So that is project number one. And let's have a look at the other one that I got. So it is nice. It is, well, cute. But I wouldn't have bought this one on its own um, because I've got so many other things as well. They do seem to be cutting back quite a bit on their actual special drills and crystals in their sets. They do seem to be more the resin drills, but the resin are the better quality drills. Um, they have more facets, so they sparkle a little bit more. That's all the cut shapes on the top of the uh, drills. Uh, let's get this one out and have a look. This one, uh, yeah, again, nice boxing. I'm just looking to see if it says what size it is on the box no it must be just on the key code then okay so yeah the other two were more candles and generic christmas and i thought oh well i'll get the cutie because i've got some uh, generic christmas as well. uh, yeah this one says it's 20 by 20 as well so let's have a look all right so same tool kit pen boat wax and your little grip seal backs and yeah we've got two maybe just one crystal in this one okay and it looks like yep yeah, it's just a flat standard white as well we've got the same base we've got a little bit different shaped bit to go on the uh, on the star so yeah i wonder which way they are supposed to go which way do they show? oh yeah look on the box they actually show you it with that bit there no i definitely was doing the other way up last year <laughs> Probably because I didn't want it to mark my mantelpiece, so I thought the smaller bit um, was better actually on the mantelpiece than the bigger bit. Personal choice, but at least you've got the choice, so that will work exactly the same. And oh, oh no, oh no, oh that's not good. The uh, stickies 
Oh, it is still a little bit sticky. I have got my magic glue uh, that they do sell. Um, I mean, you can complain to customer services. If it had been the whole thing, then I would have yeah asked for another one. But with it just being that star, and I can just put a little bit of the uh, magic glue on there, the crystal art magic glue, which stays permanently tacky. So if uh, you know you've got a bit that's not sticky, you can just put a tiny blob of that on, and it just makes it sticky again. But that's okay. Now that is not staying flat down there. Um, what have I got that I can put on there to stop it coming off? I'll have to uh, put it maybe back back to front in the box so that that doesn't come off again. So, okay, so, and we've got the star-shaped acrylic there as well. So we have uh, mirror images of Santa and his little buddy there, which is your snowman, and your little penguin with a present and a huge Christmas tree in the background. So it, it is... I don't dislike it. I do like it. And I would probably have thought, mm, shall I, shan't I? Uh, but it's not one that I would have rushed to buy. But because it was in the set of two, I thought, oh, well, it'd be rude not to. You know, you just got to do these things sometimes, haven't you? I may even gift this one as well because, uh, yeah, I've got quite a few uh, grandchildren, nieces and nephews. Well, great nieces and nephews and things that may like it. So, yeah, so to put this one together then, oh, just put that on one side at the moment, over there, you uh, again take the cover off. I'm not going to pull that, yeah, that's a little bit useless, I have to say, unless that's just a sticker telling you to take the top cover off. Uh, but yeah, again, that will be completely clear. So, you would then take the cover off the back and stick that on there. And then you have this funny shape, which makes sure you've got it the right way up before you put it down. So we've got a little bit of a foot on this one. So it will go there. So that's your sandwich on this one. And actually, I've got that the wrong way around yet. Make sure this goes the right way around as well. So whereas the other one, it didn't matter because it was just a generic round shape. This one is more shaped. So you need to think because they are very, very sticky and you don't want glue going on the wrong side of your acrylic and then having to it off and put it back on again and finding you've got marks on your acrylic or anything plus it's an extra faff that you just don't need and then that one will go on there and then you've just got your little bit sticking out at the bottom to stand into your stand so yeah they are the lovely I, I just uh, really do love them so that is your little Santa and Snowman. So this one is a 22 different colours. Uh, we just have one crystal and again two large rounds. Okay, showing you the picture and then where the gems go. I like that, I think that's quite sweet. And we've got 800 of the 5200 gems, which is the main colour. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely... The snowman will definitely be uh, AB's because he's got to shine a little bit because it might be melting a little bit and just getting a little bit of shine on him. And Santa's coat, probably not his beard uh, and his cuffs and his hat. The pom-poms will. And the little penguin, um, probably his hat. I don't think I'll do penguin uh, in shiny AB. I don't think you get penguins in shiny AB. Oh, I don't know, maybe at Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so, yep, generic leaflet for the recycling. And let's have a look at these gems. All right, oh, we've got uh, an extra bit of a half a gem there. Must have got squashed in the machine. Yeah, it looks like we've got exactly the same, the red and the gold there. And then just the gold at the end. So there's the extra colours in this one. Oh, it's a similar colour palette though. It's got the oranges and things in it as well. Oh, now, is that a hot pink or is that? No, I think that's bubblegum pink. So no hot pink, never mind. So we're starting off with a black and a navy blue and a lovely deep red and a mid grey and a beige and a bubblegum pink and a cherry red and a bright green and a bright orange. Oh, it's just got quite a few greens in there. And a little bit of pinky colour, pinky beige colour, and grey, and peppermint cream green. 
and uh, an orangey colour with a peppermint cream green in it and a green with a, a red in it now look these have all been having a bit of a party haven't they they've all just decided to join each other's there's definitely been a lot of swapping around in here uh the pink i've got a little green in the uh beige color i've got some little pinks in have the greens got anybody in no the jd greens have said no it stops here we don't want anybody else in our packet <laughs> And then a darker green and then I'll say your white and your gold at the end. So yeah, um very pleased with them. Pleased I got them. Um just say uh, I would and I keep saying it. Sorry I keep repeating myself, don't I today? It's that wasp. It's put me off. It's probably hanging around somewhere listening to me. I might bore it to death. If I keep talking, <laughs> it might just go, oh I'm not listening anymore. <laughs> So that is the craft for the ones. I'll just pop that one over there on his box, keep him all together. Oh look, and I've not put those in there. After saying I always put the leaflet in with the gems. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. <laughs> Right, let me just show you the ones that I've got. Um, the one that I got last year, which I just absolutely fell in love with. Oh, look, I didn't seal it before I put it away, look. And you can see there, we've just got some gems have come off now then. Where's my pen with me waxing? See if I can just pick that one up, yeah. So, yeah, I must seal these. Oh, look, and I've lost a gem. Oh, no, I haven't lost a gem. Yeah, if you don't seal things and you just put them away, then they do get moved. And you do find that you can lose gems. So this one, oh, I have lost one there, look. I'm going to have to find a little red gem to go on there. And let me just push these up here. Yeah, so this one has got well and truly bashed, unfortunately. So it's just the chance you take if you don't seal things and you're putting them away. And then when you get them out next year, don't be surprised if things have moved a little bit. Okay, because, you know, they do stick on. The gems aren't going to drop off. But if something knocks against them or pushes against them, then they are going to move because it is only like a a dry glue that's keeping them in place whereas if you put your sealer over the top uh then it will i've lost another gem there look as well so this one's going to need a little bit of a repair before i put it out but can you see your acrylic is completely clear and what i did i wrapped um some little uh, led lights tiny led lights around it around the base and then just around the edge and it just really made the candle like glow and with them being double-sided as well, I think these look really classy. And I think you'd pay an awful lot of money for one of these in a shop. Now, this one, I believe, came from AliExpress last year. So it was probably about this time last year that I got it. And I think I paid maybe about nine-ish, ten-ish pounds. So the prices with Craft Buddy are comparable. Uh, possibly a little bit cheaper it depends on taxes and postage with aliexpress um i have got a full unboxing on this as i say and i have got the making up of it as well if you do search my videos from christmas last year they've moved as well it's nearly like having to completely redo this by the time i finish moving them all back in place silly liz should have sealed it and i've not quite look when i've put it together i've not oh, i've not quite got it level so you can see there i've just got a little bit of edge showing uh, nobody else would probably notice that but i've just picked it up and noticed it and thought i didn't do that very well i've got the actual circle the actual globe part really really well and i've just not lined the bottom bit up quite as well as i should have done because i loved this so much and i hadn't seen any of the companies bringing them out um i then saw this on timu and thought right i'm going to get that and i think this was about eight or nine pounds on timu as well so it was still about the same price um and i got this one i have opened it there is an unboxing i think it was my first timu uh, huge haul that i got so it has had an unboxing this 
and to be honest when i did the unboxing on this one i've had more people reach out to me and say can you send me the link for that where did you get it from can i have the link than any other item that i've ever shown on my youtube channel so these are obviously very very popular and as i say normally i'm not cute uh, i'm not um a sort of pretty and uh, classy shall we say candle type girl but out of all of the cutie ones that there was, this just stood out. And I thought, because I liked it so much, I want one for one side of the fireplace and one for the other side of the fireplace this year. So, yeah, so this is just practically the same. It's actually a little bit smaller, isn't it? Um, yeah, because this is the snow globe one. That's the base look, slightly different size. This is the snow globe one. Yeah, I definitely put it that way up on the mantelpiece last year um whereas i think they're supposed to go that way so you've got the ridge the step up as it were to the uh, part but yeah and that uh, yeah that has come um as is uh, you don't have to stick that one together that one has come um already stuck together i thought it did and i don't remember so i didn't remember um doing you know having to stick the base onto uh, well the base onto the base boom last year um Although, as I say, I've got memory like a sieve, but no, my memory has uh, kept me okay this time. Oh, oh no, I was going to say that's shiny, but it will be, won't it? Because it's got the sticky on it. Duh. <laughs> so, yeah, these are a lot bigger. Look at that. Yeah, these are a lot bigger. So, the Craft Buddy ones, same style, same build th process, but bigger. <laughs> And this one came in all little grip seal bags and this one is all crystal as well, which makes it that little bit shinier. So I wish the Craft Buddy ones had more crystals in. Um, looking at this one now with the crystals, I think I'm going to do the leaves on this one as crystals. I'm going to use crystals rather than just the uh, flat coloured gems. Yeah, I like a lot more bling at Christmas and I think the little poncettia up here and everything needs to be a bit more blinged up. But yeah, I loved doing that one. Um, I'm really pleased. That is one of my favourite things that I did last year. So yeah, because I loved it, I got another one. <laughs> anyway, as I say, the unboxing on this one is uh, on my first two mil haul if you want to go and have a look at it. So we'll put all this one back together again and I don't keep toolkits in kits um, I take all my toolkits out of everything before uh, I send them off uh, before I put them away because I just think it's extra space taking and I, I very rarely would use one of the toolkits so yeah so that's that one and uh, yeah well at least I've got the other set so with the other set now um I don't have to go colour matching. I know what the gems are because I can just take them out of the other set. When I do the um, the one that I've not done yet, I'll just uh, do the colours on this and then I'll probably seal them both together. So, yeah, I'll just have to be very careful not to get it on the acrylic. I think probably I was in a rush because I should have sealed this before I put it together so that I don't get any of the sealer on the acrylic. You can get it off, you can wipe it off, but I don't think once you've got a clear acrylic, if you spill anything on it, it just never look, quite looks the same again. So, yeah, look, these little gems are moving. They're all trying to come off and go somewhere else out of this. So, oh, we've been in a box for nearly a year. We've had enough now. Let us out. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, that's just my little... I made this little, little uh, diamond painting pen myself look. It was just a normal ballpoint pen and uh, I took the ballpoint pen out and just uh, stuck a pink pen in it. So I've got a little oh, Scotty dog look with the little eyes and everything pen. <laughs> We've got to have a Scotty dog, a Scotty dog crafts. Okay, right, well, thanks for joining me uh, to see this little unboxing. Um, I hope you've not had a wasp in your house. <laughs> <laughs> in october it obviously didn't get the memo it's october you should be hibernating or whatever you do you shouldn't be bothering people when they're trying to film youtube videos 
<laughs> if you have enjoyed watching this then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated uh, any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.